What's up guys, Four Wheeler Daughter back again. Today we're working on this X3 Can-Am. Uh, I think this is an 18 model. Uh, I think you've seen a couple other videos on this one. I've done a few other things to it. Today we're going to try to get the front differential out of this thing. Um, something happened, something come loose in there, something broke it up. So, got a brand new one to go in there. Uh, I hear this is a little bit involved, so I've uh, never done one of these before and hopefully uh, I'll do it without too much trouble but the plan is to get it to pull out this passenger side I'm also going to replace the lower A-arm bushings while I got it out I got a kit for that uh, but to start off with I'll go ahead and pull the tires off go ahead and pull the four bolts out of the bottom of the differential there are uh, 15 millimeter and I'm also going to need to get these axles out of the way so I'm gonna have to pull these um, I believe there's still 15 millimeter bolts here and swing that uh, knuckle out and snatch that axle out of there so I'm gonna get those out and uh, I'll cut the camera back on when I get started on this front end so we'll get all that done and see you in a minute guys on these lower control arms just to get these loose uh, you just knock your bolt out of there they usually just slide right off actually this one's gonna fall right out of here I believe uh, sometimes you have to take a rubber hammer and uh, tap on the A-arm to get it to slide out, but they, they come right out of there. You don't have to have any kind of special tool to get those out. Also, guys, one other thing, just to make it a little easier to pull this axle out, it may come out like it is, but um, to make it a little easier, I am going to loosen up the or remove these bottom shock bolts and take a block of wood and shove in here between the uh, spring and the frame to pull this shock up so that you can pull the a-arm up and get your axle at more of a uh, in, in straighter so that you can pull it out of there easier uh, just probably gonna make it easier in the long run so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off too alright guys I'm gonna show uh, snatching this axle out of this thing sometimes this works good sometimes it don't we'll keep our fingers crossed that it works this time so I've got that bottom control arm off did take the nut off the end here so we just gotta get the axle to slide through the knuckle here uh, a little bit of stuff tap it with a hammer get it to come on out of there feel it wanting to come out I believe that did it alright so just pick this A-arm up good little ways to get your get your um, axle to slide out good little ways more than this I reckon just like that only thing on this it might be a little weird is that differential is not bolted in anymore because I took the bolts out of it first so hopefully it's still gonna have enough tension in it to uh, to hold on while I snatch this axle out of here. So lift up on your A-arm, get your axle lined up. Yeah, see, I think we're gonna have a, have a little bit too much play in it. What it's supposed to do is snatch right out of there naturally like that. I think our with our differential being already unbolted, the differential is wobbling back and forth as I snatch it. So can't get a good snatch on it. I'm gonna use my um handy dandy axle puller here that I made that will go on the end of a slide hammer and it'll get it out of there pretty easy so I'm gonna rig this up snatch it out of there pull the other one out and I'll cut the camera back on for the next step alright guys got the uh, puller rigged up in here show you how this thing works just take the slide hammer. A lot of times it don't take much force. And snatch it out of there. There again, a lot of times it don't take much force. This is not one of them times. Some of the problem here is I couldn't pull it very straight, but uh, it did get it out of there. So snatch that one out and do the same thing to the other side. I 
believe this one no, I don't think we can do that. I don't think that axle I don't think you can snatch it from or knock it from this end, but you may be able to. I might see the end of the axle up in there. But anyway, I'm going to try to pull that one out by hand first and then we may have to resort to the axle puller for the second portion of it. But let me get all these pulled out and I'll cut the camera back on in the next step. Alright guys, got the axles out of here now. The next thing we need to take out is this bolt here that um, holds the the I guess input shaft for this differential end. It's a 13 millimeter and it's got a nut on the other side so just hang on to the other side with a wrench hit this one with the impact and then slide that out and I think this yoke will slide that way enough to get past the differential but we'll see that in just a second. Let me see if I can get this uh, bolt out and um, then we'll see what the next step is. Alright guys I was right. Once you get the bolt out of there you can uh, pry back on that yoke there a little bit with crowbar and it'll come off without um, having to do anything else with the differential so now let me see what we're gonna have to do next I think I'm probably gonna try to get some of these electrical connectors off so I know that's gonna hold us up it looks like this upper a arm is gonna be in the way because it's practically sitting on top of the differential here I don't hardly see how I'm gonna be able to squeeze it by there but We'll see. Um, let me get all the electrical connectors off and then we will figure out what the next step is. All right guys, first connector we pulled off is this one here. I actually just pried on the rubber coupler there and the uh, clip came off. Also want to pull this vent line off and we'll see what we can get to. I think the other ones we may have to get from the other side. So um, let me get this vent line off and then we'll uh, cut to the other side of the camera. Alright guys, I was able to rock this thing over enough to get this other connector off. Just to let you see how these connectors go on, you pry, pry back that rubber cover there. They have a little uh, a little clip, kind of halfway see it there. You just pry up on that clip and pull on the, pull on the connector and it'll pop out. So, got that one out and Looks like we've got maybe two more. Nope, the one other one over here. It looks like there may be one more that we got to pull out right there on the front. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing wiggled around enough to uh, to get in there to it. And I'll cut the camera back on and let you see it. All right, guys, I couldn't get a real good video of that because it's pretty tight in there. Just felt around there with my hand. Same type of connector. This one's a little bit bigger here. Uh, pry up on it, pull out on the connector, and it pops right out. So. I believe that's all. Check, make absolutely sure on this other side. It looks like all of our electrical connectors are out. So I don't think there's nothing else to do but to try to slide this thing out of here. All the, everything I read about this, I actually couldn't find anything on YouTube about removing one of these, but everything I read had leaned toward removing this front bumper, which is not real hard to do. But um, I figured I would might give it a shot and see if I could do it without removing it so uh, we're gonna see in just a minute the only thing I see like I mentioned before that may be an issue is that upper control arm uh, I still don't know if it's gonna come out of there or not but I'm gonna wiggle this thing around and we might be able to get it out with it in there if not we'll have to pull this bumper off and um, drop back and punt I know it'll come out if we take the bumper off but or take the control arm off at least so let me see what I can do all right, guys, here goes nothing. We're going to try to get this thing pulled out of here without removing the front bumper. So I'm going to try to rock it one way or another. I'm pretty sure this thing will come because it's pretty dang tight in there. I thought I might be able to rock it up and get it to slide out that hole, but I honestly don't think that hole there is big enough considering the size of the differential to come out. So we are going to have to drop back and punt and uh, remove this front bumper. So let me get the front bumper off. We'll pull this upper control arm off and it'll come out of there again. So to, uh, to get the bumper off, I pulled one of these off before, but it's been, if it was more than two days ago, I forgot how to do it. So uh, we're going to end up having to go back on here and figure out what I got to do next 
Uh, I think the first step in getting the bumper off is removing the skid plate and these bolts here. And we got a couple bolts on top up there to, to pull off too. But uh, let me get, get those started coming out and uh, I'll cut the camera back on when I make some progress. All right guys, I'm starting to take this front bumper off of this thing. Uh, first thing you need to do is take the skid plate off. There's six bolts here. They're Torx, uh, maybe like a T25 or something like that. So pull those off and that gives you a little access here to the bolts that hold the lower control arm, front lower control arms on. Uh, so we're gonna take those loose and then there's a couple other bolts we gotta pull off. I did take the Torx heads off of here to give us a little flexibility on our front bumper. I'm gonna try not to remove this whole front bumper on this thing. Um, next thing we need to take out are the two millimeter bolts here for the radiator, one here and one on the other side. And I'm gonna try to get an air ratchet in here to get a hold of these top bolts. There's a nut on this side and the bolt on this side. So if I could get in here and get to these, um, get the head of this bolt, I believe I can get that, that um, nut loose, take the front bumper off, and then we can uh, loosen the top upper A-arms off on the other side and get that whole A-arm out of the way. So let me uh, get these bottom bolts loose and I may cut the camera back on once I figure out what the next step is. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I just slipped this thing off here. I had the radio playing, so I'm not going to be able to upload that one because YouTube will kick me off. But anyway, got all these bolts loosened up. You just um, wiggle this thing forward and it comes right off. The bolts you have to remove are all the ones I took off. There's three eight, 18 millimeters here. Uh, then remove the 18 millimeter on the top here, top here. Have to go do the other side as well because in order to get this plate off of here, you've got to have both of those top A arms loose. I'm also going to um, remove this sway bar end link and that way it'll let, allow the a arm to come out of there a little farther it's still not going to come very far because the brake line is riveted to the a arm and i'm not drilling those rivets out so we'll get as much movement as we can out of it um, i did also unbolt the winch cables there as well as this bolt on the bottom of the radiator on this side it actually has a nut on it on the right side so uh i couldn't find the nut in mine i ended up having to get the airline and blow all the mud out of it so I got in the back side of the nut and um, got that off. The other side just threads into the frame. So let me get this A-arm out of here and I'll cut the camera back on, I guess, right before I slide it out. All right, guys, now I got all the bolts loosened up. Got that little bracket, whatever you want to call that little plate out there. Uh, so should be able to just slide this uh, differential, for, or not differential, the A-arm forward. I'm going to push this back rear bolt as far out as I can. I don't think it'll come completely out. This front bolt is actually sliding with the A-arm, so I'm going to have to push it as I, as I slide the A-arm forward. Kind of got to wiggle it around a little bit to uh, keep it work from where it's binding up. I'll be real close to be able to get it off of there now. This would be one of the times when it really help out if you had a had an extra set of hands in your shop. As you can tell, I don't have any here. So we're gonna struggle with this for a minute. Got the front out, the rear bolt has slipped out too. Okay, so there you go. A arms out. I'm gonna just try to kind of twist this thing up get it out of the way see it leaves a big open hole there for the differential to come out so now i'm gonna see if i can get this thing twisted out of here all right guys so i pulled those three torx bolts out didn't wiggle this actuator off here it's got an o-ring on it so it takes a little bit of force to get it off so, uh, also so there's three bolts here i'm sorry but there's one on the top here i did have to rock the thing over to get to that bolt uh, now, if my calculations are correct, and I did those on my fingers, this thing should slide out of here just like that. And guys, that might not be the absolute correct way to do it, but I did it. 
Uh, figured it took me about, let me see, probably 30, 30 hour, about an hour and a half. Um, it wasn't too terribly bad, and I could probably do it quicker if I had to do it again. But um, looking at this differential, it's not real hard to figure out where the problem is. Busted the case here, busted the case on the bottom. See that crack there? So this whole side popped out. Uh, I might take it apart just to see what's inside of it, but it really doesn't matter at this point because I got a brand new one in the box over there. So I'm gonna take that new one, take this actuator off, and uh, slide it back back in there and put this thing back together. I don't really foresee anything odd as far as putting it back together pretty much the exact reverse of uh of what we just took apart so i don't think i'm gonna video that but um and i really can't think of anything odd i know some of these bolts like well for instance these bolts here actually have loctite on them so you want to get some loctite to to put those back on had a time on this bike with these uh um sway sway bar in link um nuts coming loose so make sure you put some loctite on those just to make sure they don't fall apart and that's pretty much it so uh guys i i normally have a follow-up video or at least a putting back together video but i think this is pretty self-explanatory the biggest thing is just getting that out of there but got it out uh you guys check out my other videos i'll probably leave some links uh down below in the description about some other things i've done to this x3 it's got a ton of Ton of mods to it so y'all check those out and uh check out my other videos I work on a bunch of four wheelers sometimes some side by side so um hit the like button subscribe have a good night